This is Aviv and Jared from West Coast Shaving, and today we're going to talk to you about envy, envy shave, and greed, hmm. sloth. The we have the envy shave soaps that we're going to start carrying, or we just started carrying here. But we're also going to talk about the Brush. shaving brushes that we're right. selling. Yeah. So uh, Nathan Clark is the artisan behind Envy Shave, and he has long been one of like the the most creative, most consistent brush makers in uh, the shave scene. Uh, so he turns handles from a variety of materials. He sources excellent knots, badger, synthetic. Uh, you know, he he really uh, is is one of the premier artisans in my opinion. Uh, he also makes a heck of a shave soap. So he started releasing these, I want to say, within the last two years or so. Um, we have two of his latest scents, and you can you can tell because they have uh, full color labels now. His earlier soaps didn't come with that full color labeling. Um, but we have lavender haze and citrus root. Lavender is um, this is lavender. Yeah, no, I missed. You've got lavender, which is mm -hmm. awesome. Lavender haze is it's actually my favorite lavender scent, mm. um, and uh, it's really uh, it's 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 not like a lavender. It it, it has a touch of it, but uh, that haze <laughs> really takes it in a different direction. Uh, I feel like it's it's bright. One of the cool things about this lavender actually is that uh, he gets the the scent from a lavender farm right near his his home. Where is his home? In Utah. Mm. So I asked him as soon as I tried it, I said, what is, what is this? Why is this such a unique lavender? He said, well, I don't know. It came from basically next door. Uh, and it's it's really high quality, very unique take on the scent. And then uh, there's some notes that really add a level of brightness and depth that I, I think uh, quite unique. His brushes. We I was going to say, let's yeah. talk about the brushes. Yeah. So if you've seen these videos before, uh, you may have caught our... Um, carbon handle that we had used previously, like the one we showed had a blue and yellow resin band up top and a synthetic knot. So those carbon brushes, also from Nathan Clark and Envy Shave, and they are handmade. So not only does he you know, make soaps and all that good stuff, he actually laid each strand of the carbon fiber, um, then you know, package it all up, resin coating, make it durable, and um, shape the resin on top. And added the knots himself. Uh, they are they are awesome. They are really really unique. You don't find stuff like that. That's looking good, man. Yeah. Hit it more. Get some water in there. That's uh, that's a thirsty soap right there. It's looking good though. Nice nice bright sheen. Um, so we're really excited about those brushes. He has made uh, several, like literally several, less than five. Uh, so far, and West Coast Shaving, we've got uh, the next, like... I think eight. Yeah, eight that he's made. Um, and uh, it takes him a long time to make. Uh, Aviv thought it'd be pretty funny to ask him to make these in the middle of winter in Utah. So he had some, like, frostbite and I think other maladies mm. that, uh, you know, not our problem, right? We just That's shave. Right. We just shave. Uh, he came through though. We've got these carbon handles. They rock. Uh, they're, they're just they're, there's a nice amount of weight to them. They look very sleek. Uh, he also happens to be a mountain bike racer, and so uh, given his knowledge of, of cycling and uh, bike frame materials and components, mm. like the carbon was a natural fit for him, and he always wanted to do it. And we're really excited to bring such like a cool, creative. Uh, it's product. very neat carbon fiber and. Sort of solid resin on the top. Yep. The, the combination, it's a sleek look. Yeah, it's awesome. So, lather, as always. <laughs> One other thing that, that I forgot to add about brushes. What's that? We've got a whole bunch of Illuminati brushes too. That's right. Yeah. So those also are turned by Nathan Clark. Turned by Nathan Clark, made by, made out of aluminum. Mm -hmm. They come grown on his aluminum farm. Right next door on the other side of the lavender. <laughs> I think uh, we have three or four colors. It's like a, a purple, a red, a green, and a blue. Maybe I don't know if there's a blue uh, or a green. I think it's I think it's purple, orange, and red. I want to mm. say there we go. Uh, it's definitely some combination of, of these colors uh, that we've thrown out here so far. Mm -hmm. um, they're 
two I actually have is really like I'm a I'm a huge fan of it. Um, he calls it the chalice style, but basically it's like a herringbone pattern um, in along like kind of the mid midpoint in the mm -hmm. handle. Um, so that's on top of the anodizing and stuff. And again, if you're you know mountain biker, especially during the '90s, anodized uh, metal parts was like the big thing. So uh, I think it's a nice a nice homage to that scene. And uh, again. Uh, very premium feel. They have a, quite a bit of weight to them too, like mm. even more so than the carbon brushes, which is not surprising because carbon is, after all, very light. Um, but yeah, those Illuminati brushes really are solid. Very neat. Envy shave, shave soaps, carbon fiber shave brushes, aluminum shave brushes. Lavender Farm. Lavender Farm, aluminum farm. Boom. <laughs> Check them out. Thanks for watching. Good night.